Okay, here we are, another sale at Clark Auction. This time it's on Sunday, March the 10th, starting at 10 a.m. We have a super duper sale, or as we like to call it online, a monster march. Anyway, without further ado, let's start. We have this wonderful bedroom set, mid-century, by a designer called Edmund Spence. We have two end tables, headboard, this long chest and a high chest, wonderful condition, wonderful patina, great set, ready to go in the house. Mid-century wise, these are not mid-century, but they're nice copies of Barcelona chairs. Probably Italian, good quality, nice and heavy duty, nice to sit on. In the decorative items, look at this lamp. Cameo glass with the etched birds and the bamboo. Beautiful bronze base. I believe that's estimated six to nine hundred. Lots of regular 19th century French furniture. This bureau plat here, bronze mounted, one drawer. 19th century, not what they used to be, I'm afraid. We have a pair of these Regency style pedestals. Nice with the brass inlay. Marble inserts on the top. And somebody has a piece of sculpture here by Frederick Hart, one of many pieces of sculpture we have in the sale. We have a lot of 18th century, both continental and American furniture in the sale. Here's a nice example of the inward serpentine front 18th century, probably German, commode with all the original old locks. Even as an old box of money someone left in there for you. Over here we have, this is a Jacobean, English 18th century chest in wonderful condition. Look how it sits up on those high bracket feet. Lots of rugs in the sale that Kenny will get to. We have lots of uh, alabaster, poor uh, alabaster statues in the sale. This is one of two that are in two pieces in a lot. Okay, in the main room, look nice and full. Everything get ready. We're a week early this time, so it gives us time to prepare for our next sale. Okay, we have this snake skin or faux snake skin. We believe it's Carl Springer sitting on top of a nice root table. Here we have this by beautiful bronze sculptures by William Dickey. We believe this is of his wife when she was pregnant. It's got a monogram down here, so that's very nice. Here we have uh, this sofa. Our settee is by Poltrona Froud, is a designer, I believe, called Luca Chacati or something like that, some Italian designer. We have two pieces of French Art Deco by Perguet. We have this little magazine holder. And over here we have this waste basket. Nice to have these. Nice and rare, look at this design of those. Okay, let's start over here with the smalls. We have a lot of mid-century uh, glazed porcelains or ceramics in the sale. This, these, this is a pair of doves that are by Professor Eugenio Patarino. This is also by him. So we have a few lots of it, their initial EPF. This is a nice abstract sort of big cassowary looking figure. It's not by him, but there's the artist there. I believe it's Castagliani. We have more, so watch our site, C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y dot com. We have hurricane sconces, lots of bronzes. Look at these guys down here. Good for the Paddy's Day to go around saying hello to everyone. Look, little nodders we have for the corkscrews. You can put them in the drinks and let them talk to the people, the drunker they get. Okay, we have up here a lot of heron. This is a nice little tea caddy. Sergio Bustamante back there, the owl. These are by more of the mid-century 50s stuff. These are by Gamboni. Haven't had a skull in a while, but I don't know who this fellow is, but we have a skull in the sale. Native American potteries. This is by Eugenio Paterino. Look at the size of this, it's great too. Once again, we have Arte bronzes. We have these two large ones, this one in the front and the one at the back. These are by Santi Moore, mid-century porcelains. At first we thought these were Lalique, and they're not. We do deal with Lalique, got in contact with us. These are Czech glass, they're beautiful, they're signed Lalique, but they are not. We have lots of Royal Worcester porcelain to sale, lots of art glass. These uh, candlesticks down here, beautiful gilding. These are actually signed Bar BDN. Look at the quality of the work in these. And nice to have four, go across the whole table. So here we have more reticulated uh, Royal Worcester. Then we have old Paris porcelain. These are nice, a pair with sort of pats or pat on them. They're signed also, go to our site to see them. Down here we have a large Sevres urn in the back, no lid, a pair of Sevres urns there. These are very nice, sort of a Venetian feel to them, with good large size, look at that. Bronze mounted. Then we have a pair of these that go together with a shield. But these are nice, patinated metal. Here on the we have religious icons, these came from up in Cold Spring. So it's the two icons there, going together with these pair of, these two Santos figures. Moving all right along, this is a nice piece of KPM. Nice large piece, all signed on the back and titled. This is a Lalique, nice René Lalique. 
bowl here. This little box just came out of a house on sign, but nice little porcelain set for carrying away for your picnics. Lots of clocks that Kenny will get to in the sale. I think he's going to get to that piece of trench art also. Okay, we're going to swing into some furniture now. Here we have a Paul Evans sculpted uh, bench. It was with the uh, vanity, but we put it separate because a lot of people just want the bench. I believe that's at two to three thousand. Below it, beautiful rosewood desk. Look at the patina on this desk. A nice rosewood. Here we have a, a bar. I believe it's... Oops. One of the guys locked it just to catch me. There we go. Look at that nice bar there. Nice style. Nice to have the key. Okay, top here we have... This is Paul Evans. Nice big size. This goes with the console, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Nice with the sculpted bronze. Over here we have the console. It's nice to have it on screen on the camera because you can get a good idea of the size so it has a nice thick slate top. Here we have Paul McCabe dresser. We have quite a bit of Paul McCabe in the sale. We're going to swing around here. Going up to more furniture. Here we have this, uh, this is by Maurice Valenci. Nice with the rosewood and the leather. Little damage on the leather. Here we have a set of eight Tone Bentwood chairs. Black lacquer, they were actually in the house at this table. I've forgotten the name of the table, so you look go ClarkNY.com, but it's a good designer. This table, atop the table, is an interesting lot. We have three complete sets of these Art Nouveau bronze sconces. Look at the size and the weight of them. These are the slag glass shades hang off them. That's one lot of three, but we have more coming up. Here we have a set of three wrought iron chairs. These are really nice with the ram's heads and the nice classical decoration on the back. Probably 19th century. I want to show you these chairs. I took them in only because they're in the same house, but I love the lines. Look at the little balls on the feet, very heavy. Great lines, them. I'm sure someone will know the designer on those. More Paul McCabe. This desk here, this came from Cold Spring, along with a lot of 18th century American furniture. Slant front, not overly desirable, but signed on the inner drawer. I believe it's maple. Here we have a Carl Springer style table here. Nice with the curls, curled bottom. And the top here, to complement that last lot, we have about eight of these are bronze. These are the bases. We don't have any more lamps, but we do have eight bases, a separate lot. These are sitting on top of a nice two, uh, two-seater Queen Anne mahogany settee. Once again, from all that 18th century stuff in Cold Spring. Nice elephant table here. The tusks are wood. Okay, on a walk-in Wednesday, a lot of 18th century continental, probably German broke furniture walk-in. This one is of particular interest. Look at the marble Pieta Dura plaques. Really wonderful. I'm not having a lot of luck with doors and keys today, so we won't bother. Nice of the pull-out. Pull-out seriously. Slant front, all original, little insert in there. Nice 18th century, doesn't look like it's been touched. Could do a little bit of work, obviously, but... Everyone would have been bananas for it in this day. We've got pairs of pedestals. Nice bow front mahogany 19th century uh, commode here. Here we have a German mirror, 18th century, with a nice classical German motif on the top. We've got a few of these Baroque commodes. Look at this with the nice overhang. What a wonderful grain on it with the walnut and the banding. The three drawer. Looks like it's ready to go into the house as you like it. Here we have another one, darker and patina. This one has inlay. Sitting on top of it, look, these came from Granny Show. I nearly pulled that out, not clever of me. These are Dresden, but look at the size. Plenty of mirrors on the side. We've got that bamboo one at the back. This from the 18th century continental again. Look at the inside of this. And this is once again probably German. Needs a bit of work, but got the age and probably worth the time and the patience. Over here from Cold Spring, we have this 18th century American Chippendale commode. Nice with inward, inward serpentine front. Four drawer, nice bracket feet, nice drop art, nice uh, overhang on the serpentine top. We have this set here, Stickly Audi. Nice in the, uh, in the style of Harvey Ellis, arts and crafts. Moving down, lighting, we have plenty of lighting in the set. Look at the size of the chandelier. Could be Baccarat or it could be Waterford, but I veer towards Baccarat Marble. Nice big size, came out of Bedford, New York. This came out of Bedford also. That's just a small repair, it's no big deal, but wonderful Italian, probably 18th century with the alabaster base on it and the carved and gilt with rope. Beautiful top. Bird cage on stand. <coughs> Mid century swivel chairs, and a Gucci style table. Beautiful little antique kids' chair. 
We have bronze table lamps. This is a nice mid-century chair in Ottoman, nice oversized, probably nice and comfortable. Once again, needs a bit of work. Over here we have this um, Paul McCabe marble top. This goes together with another piece sitting on top of it. Look at all these girls playing poker here. I believe this by an artist called Bruno Luna. The chandelier here, Scolari. The reason I like it is because look at the, uh, the hole in the, inside the hole there. Nice rare drops on this. Nice alabaster chandelier here. Here's two mid-century lamps. This one is by Joseph Colombo. Nice with the enamel red metal. This one here is by Castigliani. I believe it's called the Toya or the Joya lamp, Toya. Over here, more Paul Macabre. We're gonna switch up here. This here is by Silvio Viglia, Vigliaturo. Look at the size of this, the art glass. When you put the light behind it, it's absolutely magnificent. We have plenty of these trunks. We have about five of these trunks, Q80 we call them, brass overlay trunks, mid-century chrome chairs. We have a nice pair of these. These are copies, but they're very well made, probably Italian, after Charles Ames lounge chair in Ottoman, a pair of them in brown. Here we have this Tiffany style lamp. Wonderful patina, wonderful quality, great leaded glass, wonderful colors when it's lit up, so you should look at that. I believe that's estimated at $1,050. Another pair of mid-century chairs with a nice heavy chrome bases. This, I say, I would say has sort of an Asian modern feel. Nice table with a rosewood and the mahogany, but nice with the little dovetailings around it. Could be a designer here. We have a rosewood settee. Moving right over here, we've got a nice pair of bronze planters down here. Good large size, getting that time of the year for your gardens as well. Here, one of two pairs of end irons. These are by Henri Vian. And two pairs, another pair up there, mid-century style tables. We have this Queen Anne, 18th century <laughs> settee here, upholstered. Pairs of planters, antique mahogany, bow front sideboard, wonderful patina. Nice size. This is quite a rare piece. This is Minton, sort of Majolica aesthetic movement. Minton porcelain uh, seat. These are the other Henri Vian and Irons dogs. Nice little Louis XV1 style parlor set, came from Long Island. Another sideboard, we've a pair of these, probably turn of the century. Look at this on top, years ago they would have been just crazy. This, this is one of the best examples you find. Black Forest carved, look. The pheasants, the doves, the mirror. At the back of it, an 18th century Italian mirror, good big size. Came from Bedford, New York. Swinging right along, we have Georgian. Wing chairs. Look at this Baltic style bronze chandelier. Once again, great to be videoing so as you get the size, but the quality of this is wonderful. It's a great size. And below here, I would say this is probably Irish. Laughing because it's Paddy's Day come out nice sitting on the big claw feet, nice serpentine here. This is once again getting near the summer again, so good for your plants, a plant or two tier, tall metal. We got lacquer tables. Mid-century chairs and ottomans. Over here we have, these are called ghost chairs. I believe we have a set of eight of them. Look, we have cellos. This here is a, this was a carousel frog. In a bit of shape, it's obviously been used, but I haven't seen one before, so. Hopefully someone's looking for that nice campaign desk. Look at the size of this leather top, all original. 19th century. This high boy here came from Cold Spring, the same spot as the American Chippendale chest. So it's a nice, nice high boy, nice patina. It's actually a good size. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Put your duds in it immediately. We got a pair, two of these bronze, not a pair, but two good size. Look, lots of rock crystal in them, wrought iron. This Art Deco one, look at the Griffins too. These are Frere, Muller, Muller Frere shades on it. Moving right up, getting near the end. A large Q80 chest there, a Q80 trunk. Over here we have vitrines. This uh, Chippendale style china cabinet, once again, also came out of Cold Spring. As you'll notice, lots of carpets, Kenny will get to. This is a temple, all carved wood. Beautiful opens up. We have this nice, I'm going to hold it up for you so as you can see it from over there. No, he's following me. Nice uh, pla, bureau pla. Okay, and I think we're getting to it there. We have American mirrors, period mirrors, nice barrister's bookcase, and give a quick glance back there, you get an idea of some of the things. We have that nice K 
cabinet with the clock, lots of mirrors, lots and lots of stuff. Give you good reason to go to www.clarkeny.com. Previews are from noon to 6 p.m. Sale is on the 10th, starts at 10 a.m. Hope to see you all there. If you want to come early and preview, we're all set up and there's always a welcome on the door. Happy Paddy's Day coming up too. Thank you.